Hi Internet, John Luke here. Before we jump into today's video, I just want to say that the following video is a little bit blurry at first, but it'll eventually clear up because I was using a third-party software and it relies heavily on the internet. And uh, as most of you know, the internet here in the Philippines kind of suck. So bear with, with the video, but you'll learn a lot, I promise. You'll learn a lot about self-publishing here in the Philippines with Miss Kat Yustakyo Derla. Thank you and enjoy watching. Hi bookies, John Luke Chica here. I am a soon-to-be self-published author and my book is coming in December 2020. I'm super excited for it to be released and I can't wait to show the world my book. It's called The Shadow Immortals. And for today's video, we are going to have a discussion slash interview with one of the people who changed my life. So I know it's melodramatic, <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Um, she is a published author, editor, hybrid publisher, slash printer, book writing mentor, self-publishing consultant, and a communication strategist. She's the founder and CEO of Paper Cat Books and the COO, also known as child of owner of her family's business, HS Graphic Print, with nearly 40 years of industry experience. As a hybrid publisher, Kat offers a writing and mentoring program for aspiring book writers. She is the recipient of the 2018 Best Editor in the English category and 2018 Best Printing Service Awards during the Gawad Parangal sa Mundo ng Literatura Awards of Pen Masters League. Wow, that's a mouthful. Ladies and gentlemen, my yes. special <laughs> guest, Ms. Kat Yustakyo Derla. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, John. Thanks for having me today. Thank Hi. you for having so, the time. Hello. Yes, no problem. Always ready naman. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, let's get started. Are, uh, is your drink yes. of choice ready? What are you drinking? I'm supposed drink. to drink um, wine, pero walang <laughs> wine. And we only have cheap gin there. So, ano na lang? Uh, what do you call this? What is this? Tea? Uh, ginger tea. Ooh. Ginger tea muna today. I'm drinking coffee because coffee. I need it. <laughs> yeah. I already had three cups kanina. So, nakakota na ako. Hindi, hindi wow. na this naman ako my, This is my third cup. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay All right. So we have a bunch of questions. I hope it's okay. Uh, so we'll start with the first question. What is your process in terms of writing and also in publishing? Okay. Um, as John mentioned, no, I wear many hats. So um, every now and then, I ship from being a writer to editor to designer to publisher and since I also oversee yung printing business namin uh, for our books, um, I have to um, I have to find a process on how to um, parang i-segregate ko yung sarili ko. Kasi ang hirap kapag uh, nag, nag jump ka from one process to another. So my process as a writer is um, I'd like to call it ano, <laughs> like my career in this na starstruck, I call it starburst. Kasi, di ba, starburst yung ganon. So, in other words, sabog. <laughs> um, I have a lot of manuscripts uh, in my head. And sometimes, of course, in my computer. Um, I jump from one uh, manuscript kasi to another. Eh. So, my process, for example, whenever I... I have this flavor of the month. Eh. Like, for example, this month, ito talaga yung... Um, obsessed na obsessed ako, for example, sa story na to. So what I do, which is very interesting if you want to try this method, but it's not recommended. Una-una naglalasing ako. <laughs> so I, I, I really like drinking wine whenever I write kasi nawawala yung inhibitions eh. Yung pagiging editor ko, you know, sometimes we edit as we write, which is very bad kasi you'll end up writing just a few paragraphs. Yeah, so... Just write. As in, tanggalin mo lahat ng, uh, lahat ng inhibitions mo, whatever your drink of choice is. Preferably not coffee kasi 
ang coffee kasi ano eh, I, siguro dun sa self-editing part, mas maganda yon. But if you really want na lumabas lahat ng uh, thoughts sa utak mo, <laughs> ah, ano ha, um, whatever you want siguro, like alcohol, ganyan, or um, if you fancy yung mga, mga uh, fancy coffee yan, pwede rin yan if you want. Pero um, nakakatulong kasi sa akin yung pagtanggal ng editor part ng brain ko para makasulat lang ako. And another trick that I do is um, visualization. So people, some people have something called vision boards, di ba? I don't do that kasi parang medyo nakakalatan ako sa kanya. Um, medyo nagiging ano kasi kami ngayon eh, minimalist. So I don't like clutter as much as possible. What I do is I visualize uh, who I want kung sino mga actors na gusto ko mag-play dun sa mga characters. Um, kasi libre naman mga rap, di ba? Sometimes gumagawa ako ng posters, ganyan. <laughs> kasi libre naman siya lahat. And it helps me. Kasi for example, I have this actor or actress in, na gusto kong gumanap dun sa characters. Mas, na, mas nade-describe ko sila in terms of sa written form. And I also do OSTs. So, gumagawa ko ng soundtrack niya sa Spotify and sa, play, sa YouTube. So, sa YouTube, I have these songs for certain um, for certain scenes in the book. Um, alam mo yun, pag nanonood ka, kunyari ng movie, di ba? Lalo na k-drama, di ba? Parang yeah. paulit-ulit yung mga songs nila. So, nilalagay ko lang yun sa playlist. So, those three things help me visualize and come up with a story that is both relatable and kahit na fiction siya, it's relatable because unang-una I base it on uh, yung mga descriptions sa actors that I know, sa actresses that I know, yung mga songs, they're already out there, di ba? So it's just a matter of combining everything together. Um, that's my process as a writer. Ngayon naman, pag editor naman, of course, ito na yung parang part ng brain mo na kailangan mo mag-follow ng certain formula, certain process. So I drink black coffee. Um... And whenever I edit, um, sometimes kasi mabilis ako, mabilis ako mabor. Nato lang, mabilis ako mabor. So what I do is, uh, meron ako manuscript, tapos nag-online timer ako. Uh, sometimes I time na for 30 minutes straight, puro editing lang ako. And then maya-maya, sometimes I play ako ng games, ganyan. I have a, <laughs> meron ako farm sa phone, ganyan. Um, sometimes nag um, nag apps ako, sorting apps, ganyan. And then, another 30 minutes, another 30 minutes. And as much as possible, gusto ko makatapos ng two chapters na editing sa isang libro. And then, binabato ko yon kung sino man sa inyo sa Boldy, sa mga mentees natin, ang nag-submit ng manuscript na yon Para gumagalaw lahat. Kasi kapag na-edit ko na, babalik sa inyo, tas i-check nyo, so babalik sa akin for design. So, yun yung process ko naman. And, Every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, those are my editing days. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, those are my design days. So kapag nagde-design naman ako, what I do is um, sometimes sa phone ko nanonood ako na Netflix. I'm watching How to Get Away with Murder ngayon. And next is Scandal. Yeah, sobrang analyst kidding. I love, <laughs> I love that siya. series. Uh-uh, so... Parang medyo nakaka-relate lang ako. <laughs> Kasi yeah. parang di ba sabi niya, children. So in a way, parang kayo yung children ko sa mentoring program. So nakakatuwa lang. Um, uh, so yun, so I listen. I listen to YouTube. Um, uh, meron kasi akong pinafollow si alux.com mga podcast. I listen to it while I design. Kasi sa design kasi, it's a, parang it's a no-brainer activity. Parang yung kamay mo gumagalaw, yung yung tenga mo nakikinig sa iba. Pero yung mata mo, nakatingin dun sa design. So, yun. Yun yung process ko. Uh, medyo iba siya sa mga mentors na nagsasabi na, ah, oh, set aside 30 minutes a day. I tried it. Nabore lang ako. Nabuisit lang ako. <laughs> so, those, I stick to those, ano, I stick to those processes kasi those are the th- ways that works for me. Ayan. Yeah. So, I've, I've talked to other authors as well. Um, iba 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 talaga ang 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 process nila. I mean, w- whatever works for you, mm-hmm. as long as you get get results, right? I mean, in terms of writing. Yes, as, lo- oh. as long as you move the needle, sabi ko nga, kahit na one sentence a day lang yan, sigilang. 
um, as long as you move the needle. Meron kasi mga writers na nag-work sa kanila yung 30 minutes a day, one hour. Meron naman, pure obsession, like ako. Pure obsession talaga. Like, bigyan mo ko ng suhol. Big, like, kunyari, at the end of this month, kapag natapos ko yung libro, I'd buy something or I'd, I'd do something that I really like. So, yun. Yun yung mga nag-work sa akin ever since. Suhol. <laughs> nice. <laughs> ako, I think I'm a burst writer. Like, like in a snap, I could write. Mm-hmm. And then the next day, I would be like, no, 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 no. I'm very moody. <laughs> I think you can tell that I'm a moody uh-huh. person when it comes to writing. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Kind of a diva. Okay. Ano so, ako din moody ako. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah, go. moody ako pagdating sa ganyan. Um, like, like I said, my flavor of the month ako, di ba? Yes, na yeah. May favorite akong story in a, in a month. And then I move on. Um, kasi ano eh, hindi nag-work talaga sa akin yung <laughs> structure yeah. sometimes. Yeah, I totally get it. Because sometimes I want to. Well, I'm. I'm still. For example, I'm still writing chapter three. For example, mm-hmm. but I want. But my brain is in chapter five, and I want to write chapter five, but I can't yeah. because you know the plot holes and all that. Yeah, but yeah, I do. I do get what you mean. Yes. So moving on to the next question, what is your preferred tense, your point of view, and the genres you write in? Okay. Um. I started writing kasi like mga fan fiction when I was in college, no? Parang, okay, trivia. <laughs> Pinagko-combine ko yung ano, slam dunk at saka ano, Inuyasha. Oh my god, anime anime fan ano ho eh, fan talaga ho na anime. Um anyway, so I started writing using past tense. Uh that's the easiest kasi for me. Um no brainer siya eh, basta past tense lahat, 'di ba? But there are times kasi, especially when there are flashbacks. So, dapat past, ano na yun, di ba? Parang past perfect na dapat yun eh. Um, what, I, what I'm practicing now is writing in present tense. Um, I find that it is more, um, I find that it is more intense because parang kapag binasa na readers mo, parang nangyayari pa lang instead na nangyari na. At least for me, yeah. Um, yeah, it, and it, it, it feels like it's happening now. It's, it's happening what, now. Yeah, uh, yes, yeah. and for example, in your manuscript, when you're, when you're, right, when you're um, active tense is um, present, kung yun yung parang main tense mo, when you have flashbacks, it's easy Basta past tense ka agad lahat ng flashbacks, di ba? So, parang less chances of being wrong, being grammatically wrong. Pero whatever tense you use, I always suggest to get an editor. Kasi syempre, even ako, um, I'm already an English major and I'm already an editor myself. But yung mga libro ko, yung mga talagang libro ko na sinusulat ko, meron pa rin akong editors. Um, I always rely on my editors kasi... Um, there are things na either nakalimutan mo or by bago na palang rule, ganyan, or na-miss talaga na mata mo. Kasi lalo na kapag nagpo-proofreading ka, nag editing ka, second editing ka, um, laging may nakakalusot na ano, may tinatawag kami doon eh, uh, resistant typos. Yan, resistant typos. So, the purpose of having an editor, a proofreader, a better reader is to limit the chances of having it you know, survive yung sa printing stage. Kasi syempre, pag nasa printing stage ka na, publishing ka na, syempre, mahirap ng palitan yun, di ba? I know that there should always be a margin for error, pero your goal, syempre, to work, working with an editor is to lower those chances of, of, ano, having missed typos at saka missed grammatical errors. So, yun. Um, those are my preferred tenses. Um, past talaga, gusto ko. Pero right now, I'm trying present. Just to challenge myself then, syempre. You have to keep on challenging yourself. So, yeah. So, mm-hmm. point of view would be always in third ah. person? No. First. First person. Doon ako, ano eh. Doon ako na-train. Um, when I wrote bedroom blog, 
by Veronica for Cosmopolitan for three years. So it's like Sex in the City na local version. Yeah, I wrote about my love life and got paid for it. <laughs> I got to travel, you know. Just to talk the dream. The <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, mas gusto ko talaga, ano, first person point of view. But again, to challenge myself, I'm trying to write now using the third person point of view. Kasi most of my books, they're written in first person. So ngayon, third person naman. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, I mean, I tried, I tried uh, writing in the first person. Kaso, mm-hmm. nakaka, ano yun, na, na, na what do you call this? Parang nadi-disorient ako pag first person. It's like as, yeah. as if I'm the one, I'm the one doing the things that whatever this character is doing. Ah, so, okay. so it, it's very disorienting for me. That's why I, I write in the third person. I feel like I'm safer. <laughs> I'm not, you know, I'm just the narrator. If you, if you, okay. I don't know if it makes sense. It, it makes sense actually yeah. kasi uh, the reason why I'm very comfortable using the first person point of view um, is because most of my characters are um, what they call this uh, alter egos of myself. So your first book, ko, I have this character called Kit Castile. So Kit Cat and Castile is Castillo, my middle name. So parang medyo mahirap. Parang nata typecast ako eh, kasi majority of all of my uh, lead. Uh, female leads, protagonists, um, ako lang ng ako. So parang it's like an alter, e- alter egos ko talaga siya. Kaya mas comfortable ako. But let's see, I'm, tra- I'm writing a manuscript now na male yung character day. So tingin natin how it goes. <laughs> nice. I don't know how it will go, pero let's see. <laughs> I hope I'm a be- beta reader. <laughs> oh yeah, of course, lahat naman kayo yeah. sa boldies eh. Um, yeah. I'll, I can actually share that. It's a secret project na I got assigned this past few days now. So, let's see how it goes. It's not a secret ah. anymore. <laughs> Hi to my husband. Hello. That's the managing partner of Paper Cat Books. <laughs> okay, and the genres that you write here? Contemporary like romance, definitely. Okay. So, a li- a little a little follow up question then sa genre no. What is mm-hmm. a genre that you wish you can write in? Wish you could write. Um, I mean in the future, maybe 5 years from now. Probably uh oh god, no hirap. Uh <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've always been very interested in thrillers because I really mm. love Veronica Mars. I uh, I love I I'm a rabid fan of Veronica Mars. Nagbigay at ako ng pera nun sa Kickstarter para sa movie niya. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. Um. And I also like yeah How to Get Away with Murder. Um. Marami pa. Eh. Marami ako mga pinapanood niya na more on ano more on thriller. Um, conspiracy theories, kenyan. Pero I think my strength is really in romance. Um, mm-hmm. So for now, I'm sticking to that one. Okay, now I'm super Another curious. One. I'm super curious <laughs> dahil tinanong ko yon. What is the genre <laughs> that you do not want to write? Mm, like, if someone horror. asks a horror uh, okay uh, hindi ka lang siya trip talaga i don't watch mm. i don't watch horror movies unless like kunyari purpose ko lang is maka-date yung tao tapos horror movie yung panoorin natin <laughs> lang pero wala talaga wala akong wala akong wala akong kaamor-amor sa horror movies kahit na ano siya kahit na based on a true story i don't know hindi ko lang siya talaga yeah you think this is romantic you're not getting any points tonight <laughs> Yeah. I by the way, um I'm also interested in pala sa sci-fi slash romance slash adventure. Like kasi fan ako ng Final Fantasy. So nice. I love Final Fantasy 8 regardless of what crap people tell me about it. And I'm a gamer, so I also I used to well Counter-Strike syempre the Mandai lot sa face na yun. Like hanggang sa tournament maabot kami before. <laughs> um 
I love Legend of Legaya. Yung mga classics na RPG. So, yun. Um, meron akong sinulat before na parang Final Fantasy VIII slash uh, Slam Dunk slash mga ganon, mga Evangelion stuff. So, yun. Interested ako doon. Um, I'd probably revisit that. Um, but maybe not now. <laughs> Kasi medyo intense ang research doon eh, syempre. Yes. Okay. All right. Moving on, how many and what are the books you've published? I know there's a lot, a ton, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, um, yun talagang published na, like, uh, printed and ebook formats. Um, I have eight. So the first one is Before I Do, and then What Am I To You? Those are printed. And then Appendix B, which is my first uh, non-fiction book na ebook. Um, I also have this, my first anthology kasi is before I do anthology, bros before host. So, just a bit of background, we ask people about their dating life, kanya, lessons learned about life. Uh, we had 32 authors. Um, we compiled the stories and published it. Sold out na kami, but I think we will make it available as an ebook. And then the crazy first year, wherein I'm also the publisher and well, meron ni kami sinulat. And then we have Quarantine Thoughts Volumes 1 and 2. And my first coffee table book is Make a Colorful Impression. It's about our family business. There are other coffee table books for corporate clients, which I can't say. But I think I have around three coffee table books that I've ghostwritten. So, ako lang ghostwriter nila. Um, these are corporate clients. And then, yung mga manuscripts na... <laughs> I know my husband is laughing beside me kasi ano, lagi niya sinasabi sa akin, tapusin ko na, tapusin ko na. So I have four. Um, yung finally I do and then Mariposa, The Last Kita Standing and yung huling-huli I can't say yet eh. Um, siguro sa group natin I'll share pero for now, let's just call it um, HH. <laughs> project HH muna siya. So it's a secret project H-H. that yeah, I I want to I want to release next year. It's uh it's also a romance uh book, pero I think magugustuhan to ng mga medyo kabataan. <laughs> Ayan. And in yeah. terms of titles that are not mine, but I'm either the editor, the publisher or the designer, we have 12. So we have Nobody's Adventure by Rick Fabico. We have The Seamstress with the Sampaguita Flowers by Aurora Castillo Polido. We have Under the City Lights by S.J. Wolf, who you interviewed last time. We have that Unrequited is a long by... book. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, it's 400 pages. So, but I saw the spine. Oh my God, it's thick. Yeah, it's one, one inch. One inch. Uh, yeah, so... But eh, it's it's a long book, but it's a page turner eh. Kasi maganda yung pagkakasulat din ng mga um what do you call this yung dialogue. The dialogue is really ano, is really interesting. Actually, my first impression was uh for that book, parang hindi siya sinulat ng Pilipino. Mm, para yeah. siya talagang sinulat ng um like a foreign writer. I know SJ Wolf sounds foreign to you, but she's actually Filipina. <laughs> it's just her pen name. But anyway, um, yeah, another book is Unrequited by Raymond Oliver. Yes, 30 Days with Paolo by Jel Tordesillas. The Stranger I Met by Catherine uh, Hernandez Lopez. And you have the coffee table book of um, 14 senior citizens. Hello, shout out. <laughs> the Dubber Cuts 20% unang libro. So this is the uh, barkada of my parents So wala silang ginagawa eh, May publisher silang kilala Nagsila sila ng libro, pinapublish sa amin Pintint namin, nilaunch namin siya Kaya 20% kasi lahat sila may 20% discount Pag kumakain sila sa labas Kaya Dabar Cuts 20% And you know where, where they got the Dabar Cuts word, diba? And then Always Be Chic by Miss Casey So it's coming out also in December And Sad and Funny Experiences of Japanese People Enough Being Sad by Jill Suzuki Who's our Japan-based writer uh, The Moment I Knew I'm So Into You It's a poetry book coming out this December By Imelda Caravaca Ferrer um, Understanding Chronic Kidney Disease Direct from a Patient Survival Through Fate By 
um, Maria Desiree Balesteros Cruz, and of course, The Shadow Immortals by the guy drinking <laughs> coffee from a red <laughs> cup right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yon. And marami pa actually. Uh, right now, remember, we have uh, 38 active mentees and some of you have already published your book. Some of you are it's still in the writing process, in the design stage, editing stage. And there are those who are already on their second and third book. So like I said, once you write something, you'll never stop. You'll end up writing more and more. So yon, marami. Marami pa dyan. Marami nice, pang mga nice. susunod na i-release. Yeah, feeling ko talaga, ito yung calling ko eh. Calling ko talaga to. I mean, writing. A- actually, this marks a year na Nove- November 19. Nag-flash nga sa Facebook eh. Uh, na Oo nga November eh. 19, you posted that, yung mga photos namin. Uh, yung bold. With the numbers. Uh, uh, yung boldy batch. Yes. Uh, yung bold batch. Yeah. This marks actually a year I mean, as of yes. this recording, November 19. Wow. So yeah. So yeah. Timing nga eh, galing. Yeah, I know it's been a year and this year has been, you know, um, challenging for all of us regardless of where we are in life or whatever boat we're on. Um, but still, di ba? Um, the key here, the key thing here is that you keep, you should move the needle pa rin. So, in one year, you met all of these people, you shared your stories, you created an author tube um, ano yung mga ibang ideas so pa hindi pa nalalabas kasi meron tayong mga manuscripts pa na shinelve muna natin, di ba? Yes. But di ba, what difference a year makes in terms of you know, pursuing your dream of becoming a self-published author? Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, go-go lang. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Next question is, in 2020, are there any trends in self-publishing that we need to know about? Local, international? Mm, the thing about me is I don't, I don't really look at trends. Kasi, um, and I don't follow them. Because sometimes when you follow blindly, everyone goes there. Eh. Kasi diba parang, it's a fish, diba? Parang, if everyone follows the tide, parang lahat na nandun. So I try not to follow trends. But of course, as a business person, you have to know what the others are doing. Um, before, before the before year 2020, um, mas, may, mas, ano eh, nag-increase yung sales ng printed books. Eh, because apparently, even with Amazon, Google Play, even with all of the other platforms wherein you can publish your book, iba pa rin kasi talaga ang print. Iba ang allure niya. Iba ang... I mean, every anyone can self-publish a book on Amazon, di ba? If you know how, and kahit if even if you don't apply to any mentoring program, you can do it. Eh, every everything's on YouTube, everything's online. You can follow it. The purpose lang talaga of of joining a mentoring program is you get to work with other people, you get to have a guide. It's like I don't want to call it a shortcut. Instead, it's a they give you the steps, they give you the resources, they connect you with people. And, you know, when you work as a team din kasi, marami ka matututunan apart from the actual mentoring program that you're enrolled in. Um, so, because of the difficulties that we're facing this 2020, um, uh, mas nagkaroon ng interest ang e-books. Kasi syempre, di ba, um, like yung mga brick and mortar stores, like even the big bookstores now, they're still having trouble delivering the books kasi syempre lahat shift to digital, di ba? And we always, and we see now mga bookstores and even companies na nagko-close because they, they don't sell books like they used to kasi people are not going there. So, um, mas nagkaroon ng uh, parang rush to digital. So, marami nagpa-publish ngayon ng e-book. Um, but, Kami kasi, ako ang, ang stance ko kasi dyan. Parang bakit ka malilimitahan sa e-book, di ba? Kung gusto mo mag-print, marami namang ways eh. There are many ways to connect with your readers eh. Uh, especially now that we have social media. That's why I call myself a hybrid publisher because I do e-books. Um, I also have a partner in London who teaches how how your book can become number one Amazon best uh, bestseller. So I partner with her for Amazon selling and you know teaching people how to rock Amazon. 
Um, so we teach ebook creation. And then if you want to have a printed book, we have HS Graphic Print, which is our mother company. So pwede ka magpa-print. And you can do direct selling. Like, we just opened our Lazada store. So, yung mga physical books nandun, and bahala si Lazada mag-deliver, diba? So, it's very convenient now. Um, that's the beauty of self-publishing because you decide wherever you want to sell, how you want to sell, and how much you want to sell it. Um, that's why we call ourselves a hybrid publisher. And since you're a self-published author, wala kang kontrata sa ibang mga companies, you can do audiobooks, diba? I record mo with feelings, diba? Or gusto mo, may, yes, soundtrack, yeah. may soundtrack ka pa dyan, or may sound effects ka pa dyan, no one's stopping you. So those are the trends. The I think the biggest trend is that you connect with your readers through social media. So yun yung important. Hindi ka tulad before na parang, oh my God, gusto ko makausap si ganito, si ganyan. Pero parang there's no way. And now we have social media. So it's really up to you to connect with your, ano, with your, with your community, with your readers. I'm I'm also curious, no. Um, now that we can't, you know, social distancing, distancing and all, uh, we can't do like uh, actual uh, book events, book what? launch events, right? Yes. So I'm curious how it's going to. I mean, as as the as the year progresses, no, to 2021. Um, paano na ang mang, ano yun sa mga book launches? Mm-mm. Is it going well, to be transformed into 100% digital or do you think magkakaroon pa rin ng mga physical uh, actual mm. events? What, what other people are doing kasi, um, they do virtual book launches, which is part of what we're doing also in Paper Cat Books diba? with our partnership with you. Um, but um, but of course, um, para kasi right now hindi mo masyadong feel masyado yung virtual book launch because okay people are watching diba but iba pa rin kasi yung thrill ng um when we do book launches kasi uh, pre 2020 what we do is i always give a short talk about self publishing so it's very inspirational hindi siya, hindi siya parang technical like what we do in the workshops uh, i have one editor be there or one success one success author then successful story siya um nagshi-share kami so parang kumbaga imbis na may TF kami babayaran kami or whatsoever we do it for free just to show support to a new author and then people are there and ang nakakatuwa kasi when you launch a book physically na may physical book launch ka oh my god yung sales mo is through the roof on a single day kaya sobrang <laughs> kaya gusto ko gustong gusto ko pa rin mag physical book launch kasi People are there, eh. Like, your relatives will be there. They buy one copy. Sometimes they buy in bulk. I mean, when we launched uh, before I do anthology, in a single day, we sold, I don't know how many, pero ang take-home namin, and ang gross namin, kasi minus pa yung binayad namin sa cafe where we had the book launch, was 32,000. Malaki na yun, ah. <laughs> Malaki na yun. <laughs> I mean, uh, during that time, that was in 2000. Uh, 2016, yeah. Uh, we were living in Malaysia. We went home just to launch the book. So, ang lakas ng sales niya talaga. And, nung nag, um, nag-book launch din si Des before 2020, that was in 2019, I think. Ang lakas din ng sales niya. So, um, of course, uh, right now, what we're doing is we launched the book muna virtually, di ba? But since you are a self-published author, meaning ikaw ang bahala mag-decide kung ano gusto mong gawin sa libre mo because you are the boss, you can have as many book launches as you want. Gusto mo per quarter, di ba? I always <laughs> tell you guys na, okay, have a Metro Manila book launch. And for example, tiga Butuan City ka, like si Jill, tiga Butuan City. Mag-launch ka sa Butuan City, di ba? Tapos sa Japan, she's living in Japan. Mag- mag-launch ka sa Japan, di ba? No one's stopping you, di ba? No, one, no one's stopping you na, ay, dapat isang beses ka lang mag-book launch. Siya nagsabi, di ba? Um, uh, as much as possible, syempre, we're still dreaming of um having physical book launches in the future but of course until there's a solution uh to the current ha- the current thing that's happening right now around the world uh we just have to do whatever we can um that's why it's important to be active on social media reach out to your consumers reach out to your readers kasi paano nila malalaman di ba kung hindi mo consistently sasabihin whatever you have now um so those those are the trends um but while we look forward to that, 
uh, we can always do virtual book launches. We can do talks. We can do interviews. So yun. Yun naman yung ano. Yun naman yung maganda kasi less cost, de ba? Yeah. In fact, profit is free. Ang talagang babayaran mo lang yung kuryente mo, internet mo, tsaka yung time mo. Um, but this one, this interview, it can be played over and over, di ba? So yun, yun na maganda doon. Uh, so may up, may ano pa rin, may upside pa rin naman kahit pa paano. <laughs> yeah, so I hope, yun nga, yun, mag- mag-clear na and then 2021, we we'll go back to normal. Yeah. Yeah, so yun nga, hindi nakakaabot eh. Yung mga physical launch, yeah. excited pa naman ako. Yeah, but you know what? I believe in perfect timing kasi um, I was supposed to book uh, 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 an activity area sa isang mall uh, here in ano here in Pasig City for the Grand Paper Cat Books launch. So I wanted it to be like a TED Talk wherein all of my mentees all of my authors will be there to talk for five minutes about their book. Para siyang ano, parang... Ang ganda, pitch, sayang. Yeah, I was ready na ako mag, ano, ready na ako mag-sign ng contract, may costing na ako. Kasi nagpa, nag, nag, sinuyod namin lahat ng activity areas and we decided na, ah, ito na lang. Tapos, biglang, yun nga, biglang nangyari. Um, and now we're in the new normal na nga. Um, buti na lang din, hindi natuloy. Kasi if I push through with that nung time na yun, um, konti pa lang kasi yung titles ng libro. Mm. So, let's say next year, hopefully okay na we're at the brand new normal. Um, hopefully, we can still do that. And definitely, we will do that. And we have better stories to share. So, I still believe in perfect timing na baka kaya hindi na tuloy yung yung plano ko na yon kasi mas marami pa ako maire-release kapag nangyari na. Kasi mas marami na tayo, di ba? Kasi that yeah. time, konti pa lang. I think we have mga six pa lang. Eh, ngayon, ang dami-dami na, di ba? So, okay lang. Perfect timing talaga. There's a reason why hindi nag-push through yung plan na yun. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Oo nga. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Next question is the difference between we've been hearing these terms, no? Uh, for those who don't know, uh, hybrid publisher, a traditional publishing, uh, and self-publishing. Yeah. The differences. Okay. You can just touch okay, on it. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll keep it uh, no, short and simple. When you work with traditional publishers, it means you answer to, well, well not really answer, but um, you work with a big company wherein they make the decisions for you. So, for example, I have a manuscript and then I submit it to traditional publishers. They handle the editing, the design, the marketing, the printing, everything down to the SRP, standard retail price. Um, you can contest. I, I mean, they have the power to change things. Uh, based on their recommendations. Like, for example, ah, this doesn't work or parang, parang mas maganda kong ganito. May mga ganun na. I'm not saying lahat ng traditional publishers ganun. But um, I have an experience wherein they asked me to change a lot. Eh, tinamad ako. <laughs> so, ginawa ko, ako na lang nag-self-publish kasi I'm very particular with the story. Eh. I don't want it to change. Um, so, Yun, um, you get to work with them. So, ang maganda naman doon is, wala kang cash out, meaning you don't spend on anything. You, they give you a contract. And most of the contracts give you 8 to eight, eight eight to 10% royalty. So, 8% usually yung mabinibigay kapag medyo newbie, ganyan. And that's the standard practice, 8%. So, that means, if, you're, if they're selling your book at 175 pesos, 8% of the sales goes to you. So, just do the math. <laughs> Basta 8% na makukuha mo. Um, ang maganda rin doon, syempre, uh, they have a process already. So, sila na yung bahala. Sila na yung bahala sa lahat. Um, so, now, self-publishing. Pero also, the timeline. Sila rin yung bahala. Kasi you have to follow their timeline. They have a timeline for everything. Eh. Uh, even I just some really small question about traditional publishing. Sure. Um, like in the U.S., kasi, diba, when literary agents get you, um, uh, the publisher, the traditional publisher would parang pay you an advance. Is it ah, similar that's, that's, here in the Philippines? Um, based on experience, 
yes, they give you an advance. They do. Depende sa company, ah, kasi, um, of course, I, um, yung kausap ko before was one, was one of the two biggest. Um, they wanted my book for a movie adaptation, uh, the, three, nice. the three titles that I had. Pero, <laughs> that's, another, that's for another chica siguro, pero long story yeah. short, mm-hmm. nag-know ako. Kasi ang dami kong, ang daming restrictions kasi, um, medyo nag-know ako. I actually nag-know ako to that, uh, to that offer. Tapos parang sabi ko, after after some months, I was like, oh my God, what did I do? Parang gusto kong yung pag yung sarili ko sa pader. Kasi thinking na, ano na yun eh, parang, um, this is stepping stone, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> pakiblurp na lang. This is no, stepping stone, no. what's wrong with you? Yeah, I was really, really down for some time. Kasi parang, oh my God, ang laki-laki na noon, ang laking deal na noon. In terms of, ano, what it could have done to my career, Pero in terms of monetary, hindi. Kasi I already spent almost that much producing the book. Um, nababa yung bigay, in other words. Uh, and it's also not about the money. Eh. Kasi traditional publishers usually get the copyright of your book. So you will be credited as the author, pero um, not parang sa kanila na yung characters. At least that, wa- that was what was in my contract. So, kunyari, um, yung isang libro ko, lahat ng nandun, down to the characters, would be uh, officially owned by them, the copyright. So, I felt like I was I was giving them my firstborn son. <laughs> Which is, ayoko sa anong mangyari pa. Kasi marami akong plano para dun sa libro na yun, para dun sa characters na yun. So, so kaya nag ako ako. Um, and then, so I was really, I, I felt bad, but after some time, siguro after a year, um, uh, a movie company found me and they wanted a partnership which is not just for my books but also for all of the paper cut books. So parang, there's a reason for everything talaga why that had to happen. Bakit kailangan, kailangan na wala yung ano na yun, yung parang opportunity na yun kasi may darating pa pala. So anyway, so that's the traditional publishing. They, yeah. also, they do give you an advance but that depends on you know, on how you how you sell yourself. Kasi, like I said, eight per, they give 8% normally. Pero ako napataas ko ng 10. Siguro naisip na, bato, no, bato bichesa, bigyan na nga natin. <laughs> Sabi na, Nash, bigyan na nga para tumahimik, ganyan. But anyway, I still said no. So now, sa self-publishing naman, um, again, you're the boss. Uh, ikaw bahala sa, eh, well, editors, they will give you tips. They will tell you, um, ito, um, I think you need to rewrite this because it's vague. Pero they don't change the story. Especially sa amin, we don't change the story. We don't change anything unless it will get you sued. Or, um, for except kung kunyari, parang feel namin plagiarized. It's too close to this, ganyan. Mm, yeah. um, that's the only time we ask you to change something. If it will get you into trouble. And our heads are also on the chopping board since our names are there as editors and publishers. Um, but uh, again, sa design, ikaw bahala, di ba? Like, I always ask you guys, do you have a peg? Is there a specific font that you like? Color combinations, ganyan. So, ikaw bahala. Uh, and then we do it. Our designers will do it. Our editors will do it. Um, and even the standard retail price, in the mentoring program, I teach you how to compute it, ba? And it's still up to you. Kasi ang daming factors na kailangan i- i-take into consideration, ba? Yeah. Hindi lang yung kita mo, ba? Maraming factors yan. Um, and of course, your timeline. So, uh, in the mentoring program, ba? I always ask you, when is your target launch? And then we work backwards. So, ikaw lahat. And when, in terms of selling, if you do direct selling, if you sell your book at 350 pesos. You get 350 pesos. Okay. Um, if you sell in bookstores, meron silang cut, but still, it's more than 8%, diba? So, yung take home mo. Um, but like I always say, hindi kayo yaman sa kakabenta lang ng libro. So, the libro, the book is just a stand, it's just a byproduct. You are the product. So, tinitrain kita, tinitrain ka namin, we train our mentees on how to act like a self-published author. So when opportunities come your way, like offers for movie adaptations, like for printing in the US, you can navigate the waters na hindi ka lugi. 
So, yun yung maganda sa self-publishing because you decide everything with the guidance, of course, of your mentor or the people around you, your community. So, that's the difference. And like I said kanina, yung hybrid publisher naman, um, we do e-books, printed books, audio books, whatever you want, story books. So, kasi ikaw nga yung boss, diba? So, you yeah. decide. Don't limit yourself to just an e-book. Um, or just publishing your your work on kunyari, Dream or Wattpad. I have nothing against those platforms. In fact, they are very, very helpful. They are very good um, vantage points or like stepping stones. Pero if you've already proven yourself there, hello there, Wattpad authors, Dream authors. If you've already proven yourself on those platforms, go for print, go for ebook because the 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 sense of fulfillment that you will get is very, very different. And it will really increase your authority in the field. So, yun naman ang difference niya. Nice. Lalo ko na-excite na, really ko pa lang yan, na-excite na ako ulit. <laughs> <laughs> once, yeah. once you've reached that milestone, yung nandiyan na yung libro mo, um, mm. iba, kasi it's a I'd sense of... I'd probably cry. I honestly think I'm going to cry once I get my book. <laughs> Yeah, I always, and I'm not, I, I, even if it's yeah, even I'm if not, it's not my book. Hmm, I'm not ashamed of saying that I'm going to cry when I get my book. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> moving on to the next question: What are the pros and cons of self-publishing? Curious. Uh, pros and cons. Okay, pros is you decide everything. Cons is you also decide everything. <laughs> Again, with great That's powers nice comes great responsibility nga, di ba? Um, siguro ang, pro, ang pros lang is you get to do what you want. Uh, the book that you dream of inside, uh, in your head, kung ano yung binivisualize mo, talagang magagawa mo siya sa reality. Like yung libro ni Aurora Castillo Polido, um, the cover, she wrote about that in the book. And then we had an artist recreate that for the cover. Marami kaming hinanapan ng peg, hindi kami makahanap. Marami kaming artistang nilagay sa cover, hindi, na, hindi swak. So, talagang kung ano yung idea niya sa utak niya, yun talaga yung pinush namin na ilabas. Um, and you can only do that if you are self-published yeah. kasi you decide everything. Um, ang cons naman, syempre... Um, it is an investment. And when I say investment, of course, it costs money. But again, everything that is worth pursuing has a cost. Diba? It could be your sanity or um, it could be your time. But self-publishing kasi, of course, has a financial uh, investment. Meaning, you produce kasi, you, you spend to produce your books. But if you if you know how to get the ROI, not just by selling books, which is what we teach, ha? Hindi lang pagsisell ng libro mo, makukuha yung ROI mo. Ba- babalik at babalik siya yun. I'll give you an example. Si Raymond, he recently published his book, Unrequited, di ba? Um, we were talking yeah. about SRP. Uh, hindi niya alam kung paano niya ibebenta. Hindi niya alam kung paano niya prepresyohan. So, we had a conversation back and forth, back and forth. Ano ba yung magandang promos, ganyan. And you know what? He ended up um, selling out his 300 and we gave him 308 books eh. 307 yata na benta niya. Isa lang ang tinira. <laughs> In two days. In two Nine. days. So ngayon, nagpapanik wow. siya kasi marami pang orders. Wala na siyang stock. So sabi ko, oh my God, quarantine kasi, Raymond. I need at least one month. Ganyan. Eh, we found a way to print it faster. So, right now, nasa, I think, nasa binding stage na yung libro niya. Kasi kanina, I showed you the lamination, di ba? Yeah. Um, so, he will get some stocks for Christmas and also for Lazada selling. So, yun, you really just have to have um, grit. Again, you, have, you need to have grit, determination. Not just passion because anyone can be passionate. You need grit talaga for this life. Kasi there will be days na you will doubt yourself. Bakit po ba ginawa to? Ba't ka nagbayad ng ganito to self-publish your book? Eh, marami naman iba dyan na like, pwede ka naman magpariso. <laughs> pwede ka magprint sa desktop mo, i-bind mo, benta mo, ba? Pero iba kasi kapag if you work with people who know what they're doing. That's just what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, I've been doing this since 2016. 
So all those years, I learned a lot working with people, working with different platforms. So I, that's why I'm teaching now. I'm teaching you all of the things that I know. And I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Uh, the learning never stops. And nice. Indeed. Okay. This question is probably for those who want to start their publishing journey, their self-publishing journey. Now, I, you touched on this early, earlier. Uh, now we all uh, know we can find tutorial videos on YouTube about self-publishing, but with PaperCAC self-publishing mentor program, what can we expect? You will expect to learn. Uh, I, I, I'm not the type of mentor kasi who spoon feeds. Um, kasi feel ko pag in spoon feed ko kayo, you don't learn. Um, uh, there, ag again, there are many resources you can find online, both paid and free. But when you join in the mentoring program, kasi you have you have a you have a template. We have this something called three part template, uh, wherein, for example, you're writing any type of book, whether it's fiction or nonfiction. There are always three major parts, so that's what we teach. And um, hindi kasi siya yung parang upo ka lang, susulat mo na. Hindi siya ganun eh. Um, a manuscript consists of more than just your story. So, for example, meron siyang pwede may forward, may afterward, um, you have your table of contents, you have your dedication, acknowledgement, notes from the author, marami yan. Um, so, that's what we teach. So, yung structure niya, tinuturo namin. We also teach you how to write those things. Like, I know we have different ways of writing stories. We have different ways of um, storytelling techniques. But um, there's a guide for it, especially for nonfiction writers. Meron kasi siyang parts na um, how, how do you uh, organize your thoughts for nonfiction and how do you organize your big moments para naman sa fiction. So that's what we teach. Um, and we also teach you yung self, yung the business behind self-publishing. Again, how to get, how to, um, how to price your book properly, SRP, how to get your return on investment, ROI, where do you sell your books, how do you sell your books, how do you do book cover reviews, book launches, kanyan. So those are the things that you, uh, you can expect in the mentoring program. And it's not just the type of mentoring program wherein you will watch me talk about it on some recorded videos. We have recorded sessions. You, have, you can always watch them anytime. But you get access to me. And <laughs> medyo hindi ako mahirap ako minsan hagilapin because um, there are days talaga na I'm in deep editing and design mode wherein um, nagko-focus talaga ako. And I make sure kasi if you enroll as much as possible talaga, um, either we... Kasi before, di ba, before the new normal, we had um, face-to-face sessions. We have coffee sessions every time in Changarela. So, um, we have a round table. We talk about things. And uh, I teach you <laughs> how to stop saying po and opo. Yeah, yun yung mga tinutunan. <laughs> because you don't say po and opo. And you have to, I have to train you to stop calling me Miss Cat, Mom Cat, Madam, Boss. Gano, wag ganon. Kasi um, I teach you also how to talk. How to walk the talk, kanyan, di ba? Um, how to do self-promotions properly. How to brand yourself, personal branding. And apart from me, we have editors. We have other consultants who also do that. We have Simon Tess for social media marketing. We have Natalie Donato for um, persuasive copywriting also. Sina Rosella. So, marami yan. And we have you now for for the videos and the talks, di ba? So, marami <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have time partnership. So those are the things that you can expect in the mentoring program. So you can find that on papercatbooks.com. You can check out the all-in papercat books mentoring program. So bakit all-in? Kasi lahat na nandun. Um, the goal of the mentoring program is for you to have an actual ebook uh, in PDF format that you can already start selling on Google Play or on Amazon. But if you want to have printed copies, you can also go on uh, a notch higher which means you can work with us for your printed copies as well. So, lahat na in-house. Kasi before, um, hahanapin mo pa sino editor mo, sino designer mo, sino printer mo, sino ganyan-ganyan mo. So, dito, yeah. in na siya. Ayan. But it's also ano, uh, mentoring by application. So, we also choose our mentees well. Sabi ko nga, my mentees have to be as bold as I am. That's why John Luke Chica here coined the term boldy. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's the one who started it. 
because this life requires kapal na mukha that you can't get by wearing makeup. Yeah. You really need yeah. Yeah, thick face for this life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true, true, yeah. true. Yeah, okay, next question. When did Paper, uh, Paper Cat start? Uh, how were you able to come up with the idea of doing a mentor program? What mm-hmm. made you decide to do it? And you said you started way back in 2016. Tama. Yeah, I started it in 2016 when I was in Malaysia. I was an expat's wife, so wala kong ginawa. Well, I have freelance writing jobs there din naman. But um, before I left kasi for Malaysia, I printed my first book and I brought it there. So nag-iiwan ako sa mga mga lobby ano, sa mga, ano, sa mga uh, airports lahat iniiwan ako na libro ko <laughs> um, so sabi Thank ko um, why not offer a mentoring program for first time authors like me diba who maybe are like waiting to be discovered kasi dati i was waiting to be discovered and then no one was sending me a contract for publishing um, and then I realized now we have printing machines <laughs> at home or at the office. So, sabi ko, sige, di print na lang natin. Then it started from there. Um, I offered, the first mentoring program that I offered was actually free for 17 um, aspiring authors. We called it Gay, You Are Cordially Invited because um, what we did was um, we gave two characters from my books, tas may cameo do sa libro nila. So, two of them already graduated and some of them are all, are still in the process of writing. So, hindi ko pa rin naman binibitawan yung hope that they will also publish, even if it's like noong 2017 pa. And then after that, I started offering paid mentoring programs. Um, but of course, very minimal lang kasi I was still starting out. Tas hindi ko pa, hindi pa kasama dun yung design, yung ebook creation. Um, the, the real, uh, talagang, the year na talaga nag-start ako na talagang to legitimize everything, meaning talagang, um, both my feet, ano na talaga, like, jump na talaga, jump off the cliff na, was in 2019. Yeah, 2019, when I enrolled in Raf Marabut's, um, Persuasive Copywriting Mentoring Program. So, he's also my mentor and now my mentee for book writing. Um, he taught me how to create a mentoring program patterned after his mentoring program. And from there, binilled ko lang siya ng binilled. So I added inclusions, like before hindi kasama yung design, ngayon sinama ko na as a freebie. Uh, dati hindi kasama yung ebook creation, ngayon kasama na siya as a freebie because of course it, it evolves. And every time I learn something new, I add to it. Sometimes we need to or you iba like external service like Kaisa if you want to help with digital marketing and partner with her we give discounts since you're a full mentee and she's a success partner and also a mentee so yun um that's what I'm doing now and um our goal talaga in paper cat books is to elevate the self publishing industry here in the Philippines one mo arte book at a time. <laughs> when I say mo arte, you know, sa quality, ba? <laughs> like, say, ayoko ng glossy, pangit. Anything glossy is cheap. At least that's for me, ah. That's why lahat ng books natin mat laminated. Yeah. Um, we're very particular, of course, with the styling, with the font, with the kerning, with the margins and all. So, lahat ng bleed, maayos. Um, even yung mga photos na ginagamit natin, they are not, you know, hindi ka hindi ka kakainin sa ano, hindi ka babalikan kung copyright siya. Um, yun, we're very particular with quality. And we need to prove that everyone can write a book um, as long as you know the three major parts of it. And if you know someone who can teach you and guide you. So yun yung goal namin. Because everyone has a story to tell. So that's why we created Paper Cat Books as the digital, as the self-publishing arm of HS Graphic Print. Yun talaga, all in na, all in. Cool. I remember you mentioned Rafka earlier. Uh, the, I actually discovered Paper Cat books through Raf uh, because oh. nakita ko yung nakita ko yung ad niya sa Facebook, and mm-hmm. it's about yung uh, doing better in copywriting. But so I just followed the page, and then he shared your your ad, I think, about the mentoring program. And when I saw it, that's when I discovered in Paper Cat. Paper cat books. 
Ah, so it's it's through ah, rap. Uh, ah, through rap pala. I've always mm-hmm. wondered where you discovered me. So through rap yeah, pala. Yeah. And then nice. I nag message ako sa kanya I want to join I want to join I want to join okay so <laughs> and nagbuy ka agad ako kasi I just wanted to do something and I wanted to change my life I was in a very dark place before I joined Paper Cat Books uh, the bold batch so yeah so uh, totoo yung sinasabi ko nung join ako sa Paper Cat Books it, it, it literally changed my life so I'm super happy the best decision I've made in my life and drama ko, no? Is it, is it because you were able to, like, verbalize what, what you were feeling? That's why medyo lumiwanag yung buhay? Or what it, do you, it was how, the, do you, how can you explain it? It was the first time I did something for myself. Because it's always for someone else. When I'm doing, when I'm working, when I'm doing personal stuff, it's always for someone else. If you catch my drift so it has been for the past 17 years so it was it, it, it was 17 years so i tried to get away from that and then and then this was the opportunity for it so i'm super happy that i get to do this i'm yeah. glad the program helps you i mean yeah. like i think we are serial creatives yeah. um i also realized that um, yung darkness din, kasi everyone has a dark side, eh, diba? Sometimes yung talaga nagmamanifest yun kapag, lalo na ngayon, we are feeling so much, you know, dami emotions ngayon mm-hmm. because of what's happening. Um, writing helps you, you know, um, gives you an outlet. It really gives you an outlet for that. Um, when I, when I wrote for, when I wrote my book, What Am I To You? Kasi, I was, it was patterned after a dark stage in my life then. Parang, um, marami akong mga dramatic, ano, alam mo yung parang may nangyayari ko nyari sa love life mo, tapos parang sana ganda yung nangyayari ganyan. So parang yeah. ginawa ko siyang fiction, I wrote it in a book, and um, I really hate this person so much, I created a character <laughs> for him and killed him off. So it's poetic <laughs> justice. I was really in a very dark place that time. Pero ako okay, ngayon, nakakatawa na lang. I think it's a conversation starter na lang. I like saying that sa mga interviews kasi ang dami nakaka-relate. Hindi yeah. <laughs> ba totoo? If you can still kill someone in real life, they like kill them in your story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was about to say that. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Good. I don't want to be your enemy. <laughs> I might be killed in your book. Okay. Uh, hindi naman. Um, mostly mga ano yan. Um, you know, there are, I don't know, I'm also in a good place right now because I'm working with people that I like. Kasi you know how, how sometimes it is when you're working for, you know, the typical 9 to 5. Um, yeah. You to other people and you don't get to do what you want. Kanyan. So, I'm just happy that I found my calling in terms of helping people create books. Um, kasi it's very interesting. Ah? I mean, with everything happening right now, you'd think people don't want to spend in a way or something that they want to do. But apparently, people are enrolling for mentoring programs sa writing and they are printing books. And like, whoa, wait lang. <laughs> Wait lang. <laughs> Ganun. Um, it's interesting because for some people, it took a pandemic to realize a dream. Like, who would have thought that you can self-publish a book during, you know, during this time when everything's locked down, di ba? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, um, I hope lang for those people who keep on saying, ah, I have a book idea, I want to write books. Don't wait for the next um don't next for the, you know, kind of anti for something na parang katulad ng ganito to do that. Mm, um, yeah. Like, wake up, diba? You can do a lot even if you're stuck at home. Just move the needle. And kasi diba kapag nga may map ka, which is like your outline, magagawa mo talaga siya eh. And you know, I give suhol, diba? Like, <laughs> I send your mentoring program all the time. Yes. <laughs> 
all the time. I give freebies all the time. So parang dun lang, um, na- na-encourage kayo really to do more and to maximize what you invested on. Right. Um, yeah, did we, did we answer this question? With our current situation, now that the new normal is here, how does this affect the publishing industry in general? Yeah. Uh, okay. I think there's a need to combine traditional with, uh, you know, take the they take the best practices ng uh, past sa new normal. Kasi like like yung sinasabi ko kanina na okay ngayon we don't we can't have physical book launches. Parang who says you can't have one when the world opens up again, di ba? Like right now, just do virtual launches, sell books, and then for all you know, ma-sold out ka na naman, di ba? Tapos mag-print ka ulit. And then when the world opens up, another batch of books. Kasi um, what people don't understand is, even if you already have an ebook, you can either add to that or convert that into an extended version of your book and print, di ba? Um, just like what I always do for my first book before I do, medyo manipis siya. Um, people tell me medyo manipis. So what I did was I created an extended version, uh, created an ebook out of that, and I'm gonna sell it on Amazon. So, yun, di ba? It's a basic, it's a story that's already made. Add to that. Um, I don't know, update the story a bit. And then publish it again. So that's the beauty of self-publishing. Um, in terms of publishing in general, um, I'm I'm pretty sure we're gonna see a lot of ebooks now, um, because that's the fastest way and the most cost efficient way of doing things. Um, just make sure lang when you get when you produce ebooks, it's well well edited, well laid out. Magandahan mo na yung cover mo, <laughs> kasi remember when everything digital, mababa ang um attention span ng mga tao. Dapat cover pa lang. Ano na, de ba? Bongga na para para ikaw yung titing na yeah. sa dami ng choices. Ah, uh, ano lang talaga, medyo allergic lang talaga ako sa mga ebooks na parang ang pangat naman ng font nito or parang ang bato, walang ano, margin, mga ganun. And dami ko nakitang ganyan. So, whether you're doing ebooks or print, just give it the best shot that it has. Like hire an editor, hire a designer or work with us na sa in-house na talaga lahat. Um, just give it the best possible life na pag nilaunch mo siya, maganda na siya. Hindi yung nilaunch mo siya bara-bara, tas ang pangit, di ba? <laughs> Naglabas yeah. ka pa, ibabash ka din, di ba? So, just make sure na um, unang labas ng libro mo, um, maganda siya. It may not, it's not perfect. No, no book is ever perfect. But at least, di ba, it's the best possible version of what it can be right now. Yeah. Yeah, ako, sobrang all out talaga ako dito sa, sa first book ko. As you would, you would know, meron akong mouse pad. Yeah. I have that poster at the back. Di ba? Yeah. Kung ano pinaggagawa ko. I have this author tube. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, all out, all in ka talaga dapat when yes. it comes to this. This is, this like I said to, to SJ Wolf, this is our baby. And as much as possible na, paglabas niya gusto mo as pristine as possible if not immaculate yes. diba uh-uh. so yeah next question is it ad- i think you've answered this now is it advisable to publish a book during the new normal you answered this so mm-hmm. we're moving on to the last one actually uh, is there any information you'd like to share with our audience yes and this is i think my battle cry for the past months uh kasi this this 2020 and dami ko na interviews na um na joinan i always say this like fuck passion <laughs> i don't know if you can publish that but bleep it na lang anyway like fuck passion like every time i hear someone say that you need to be passionate to like write a book gusto ko siyang saksakin kasi <laughs> Like, okay, I can be passionate, but I'm going to watch Startup Mamaya. After this interview, I'm going to watch Startup. I'm going to knit. I'm going to bake. Uh, I'm going to make brownies. I'm going to bake cookies. I'm going to cook. I'm not going to do anything. Kasi I'm passionate, eh. Diba? I'm passionate about what I do. Pero how, how up, to, up to where passion can sustain you? Kasi when you say you're passionate, parang you have this 
you have this inkling na, ay, matatapos ko yan kahit anong mangyari kasi passionate ako eh. No! Diba? You need a goal. You need a goal. And I think dreaming is for losers. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah. okay. People will say that your dream is to publish a book. But if you don't have a plan, it will stay a dream. That's why in the mentoring program, diba, I always ask you, where, when do you want this book launched? Uh, what do you want to do with it? How much is it? Parang parang recitation niya. I was chatting with one of the co-mentees, si Casey Mempi. And sometimes I chat you guys up. Like I ask you questions straight to the point. And parang feel ko recitation. <laughs> kasi parang you have to answer. Kasi I gave you all of the details that you need to know. You have to, you know, you have to make your decision. So that when I ask you, we can you can give you the details and we can meet your goal so yun yun um stop being passionate um have a goal set a deadline and work your ass off like in the mentoring program you are given six months to publish to write and self-publish a book use that time kaya naman siya six months because honestly you only need like two to three months to really write a manuscript and then what comes after the writing part is the is the hardest part. Writing the book is actually the easiest. What comes after the editing, the design, the marketing, the selling, the distribution, everything else, those are the hard parts. Because it will hindi lang ikaw ang um, like the decide non. Um, you get to work with people. You get to practice your decision making skills. So passion talaga is really overrated. What you need is grit. Kasi there will be days wherein wala kang sales. There will be days naman na through the roof ang sales mo. So, just be prepared for the plateau days. Um, there will be days na parang akala mo wala nang patutunguhan yung work mo. And then maya maya, boom, mamaya may, may movie offer ka na. Basta dapat may grit ka. And you have to be your work's best cheerleader. Um, when you launch your book, Ikaw mismo dapat believe ka sa job mo. Like, okay lang maging humble ka. Pero, wag yung humble na, kunyari, sinabi ko, Uy, John, ang ganda naman na libro mo. And then, sasabihin mo, hindi naman, hindi naman masyado. Sasakaling kita, ba? <laughs> no, don't do that. Learn how to accept praise. Kasi, if hindi mo i-accept yun, like, bakit pa, ba? Like, fake humility is so stupid. I'm so sorry. Like, it's so... Well, like it's useless, de ba? Just if if someone praises your book, just accept accept it as just the same as accept criticism. So yun. Again, fuck passion, have grit, and have a goal. Ang haba, de ba? <laughs> Sorry, get the grit. No, I love it. Passion. I love it. I love it. Yeah, fuck passion. Yeah, yeah. This is the interview where we can say whatever we want. <laughs> yeah, I mean you've you've heard me say that again and again. Sa mga interviews ko, sa mga workshops ko, like really. Like, stop being a pussy, sorry. <laughs> Fuck passion, di ba? Oh my God. So guys, uh, there you have it. That is Kat Yustakyo Derla, the CEO of Papercat Books and the COO of HS Graphic Print and a lot of things. I'm going to leave all the links down in the description. She's a ton of a woman. She does a lot of things. I don't know if she, ha she has enough time to sleep. Uh, she's a very busy woman, but, but she's, she's one hell of a woman. Yeah. So I'm super happy that you have the time to do this with me. Uh, super grateful. But yeah, uh, the links are down in the description. If you have any questions, just comment. Uh, in the comment section, subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is free and free is good. So thank you, Miss Kat, for joining me. Yes, thank you also for having me, John. And please, guys, subscribe to John's Author Tube. I'm gonna. I'm so excited for all of the other um, topics that you're gonna discuss here in the in the YouTube channel and all of your commentees who are being in interviewed. Also, I'm so excited because we have mentees around the world. So. Uh, very excited and I'm happy that you're doing this because like I said, we are serial creatives and it's a community that we're building. Um, we are a community of readers, writers, serial creatives and authors. So really excited for Shadow Immortals. Thanks again for having me tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye guys. 
there you have it, bookies. That was Kath Eustachiodurla, the CEO of Papercat Books. I hope you learned a lot. I certainly did learn a lot, uh, even though I am with the mentoring program of Papercats. Yeah, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, sub the subscription is free and free is good. Don't forget to like and leave a comment if you have a question. Let's engage. I do want to build a community. Thank you very much, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye.